Okay, here in this video we have solving a value mixture problem using a system of linear equations. So it says a family has two cars. The first car has a fuel efficiency of 20 miles per gallon of gas, and the second has a fuel efficiency of 35 miles per gallon of gas. During one particular week, the two cars went a combined total of 1,175 miles for a total gas consumption of 40 gallons. How many gallons were consumed by each of the two cars that week? So we'll say X is going to equal the gallons consumed, since this is what I'm trying to find, the first car. They didn't tell me what kind of cars these were. They just labeled them as first car and second car. So the, sec the other variable, Y, is going to be the gallons consumed by the second car. Now most people make a mental note of this and they don't write it down. However, it's important to write it down because once you're done solving the system, you'll have an X value and a Y value and you'll know which number to plug in which box inside the program. Okay, so in the program all it's going to say is first car and have a box and second car and have a box. And if you just find X and Y, but you don't know what exactly they represent, and you didn't make a note to yourself what they represent, you very well could have the correct numbers, but put them in the wrong boxes. So it's very important that you tell yourself what X is representing and what Y is representing. So it talks about the gallons. And I do know something about gallons. I know that they both consume together 40 gallons. So that means the gallons, this first car consumed plus the gallons the second car consumed should equal 40. So that's one equation that I have. The second thing is, is it told me the total um, combined miles. Well remember you can't drive these miles unless you have gas, right? So what we do is we take um, just just for science purposes, if I take the number of gallons that I have, right? and I multiply it by my fuel economy, 20 miles, I don't even need the number, I just need the units, miles per gallon, then guess what? The gallons cancel and you end up with miles. So in order for me to get this 100, uh, 1175 number of miles, I'm going to have to take the number of gallons that my car is using times its fuel efficiency. So it says for X, that's the first car, I need to find the fuel efficiency for the first car. And the fuel efficiency for the first car is 20 miles per gallon. So that means um, 20 miles per gallon times X will tell me how many miles the first car drove. Then I do the same thing for the second car. The second car has fuel efficiency of 35 miles per gallon. So 35 times Y. So when I take the fuel efficiency times the number of gallons I put in that second car, I should get the number of miles that I was able to drive on that second car. And I know that the total number of miles is 1175. So this is my system of equations. These are the equations that I'm going to need to solve. And so I use my methods to solve them. Um, you could use substitution, however, I am actually a bigger fan of um, the elimination method. So what I will do is I will multiply this entire top equation by a negative 20 so that this positive 20 and that negative 20 will cancel the x's and so I can help to solve for y. So I get negative 20x negative 20y equal to negative 800. When I combine these the x's will cancel like I anticipated how I intended and let's see here. I get 375. Then I will divide by 15 to actually solve for y. And I get 25. Then I need to go back and find x. Now this equation has a bunch more things happening to the variables. So I could plug 25 in here to solve for x, but it's a little bit tougher to solve than if you were to plug it into the other equation. So if I had uh, 
have any coefficients, I would much rather plug my variable in there. So then that's going to become x plus 25 equals 40. So if I minus 25 on both sides, I get x equals 15. And so then now I know which number I'm going to put into each box because I've labeled here what the two variables represent. Y is the gallons consumed by the second car. And I just realized I forgot an S. So that means the second car should be 25. And then X represents the gallons consumed by the first car, which means X, the 15, should go in for the first car. Again, this step is very important so that you know which number to plug into which box. It's very sad when you do all of this work and you get the correct numbers, but you don't know where to put them because you didn't label your variables at the very beginning.